Hi guys! Today's video is going to be, of course, start of the new year of what's in my handbag. Now this is my newest, newest love. It is the Coach Rogue. Um, this is in the Western Rivets. Uh, they have a whole Rogue, Rogue collection out um, that you can check out, but once I saw this baby in the blue suede, I fell in love. So, let's dive in. I'm going to give you a quick review on the bag as well as I go through what I carry around in my bag. So just <clears throat> for reference, I have a little bit cold, and the other elephant in the room is that I got bangs. I know I look completely different, but I think that it would be cool to change up my look a little bit. I get bangs, and my hair grows really fast, so my bangs should grow out, you know, fast, and as they grow out, I can wear them more to the side. Who knows? But I mean, I'm playing around with them so far, I don't know what I think of it. Some days I'm just like, what the hell did I do? Other days I'm like, okay, it looks cool, like I can do it. So let me know what you guys think. So first, um, it comes, you're gonna get a, a very large dust bag so that you can keep your handbag as you store it in good condition. It has two very sturdy handles. Again, this is all leather and this is um, suede here. It comes with two hang tags. This is just actually nothing. So it's just a turn lock piece here and it opens to I don't believe anything. And then this is a little coach tag, like the hang tag. And if you didn't know, they do monogramming at some of their locations. I work in Manhattan, in New York City, and I work very close to one of their flagship stores. So they were able to monogram this bag or this tag for free for me. It just says JL in a heart. I don't know, my last name is Heart, so I thought it would be cute to have a little symbol. So if you look in, if you get into inside the bag, you have two large compartments, one in the front and one in the back, and then you have two zippers to open the bag. I keep most of my stuff in the inside. Also, you do get two larger handles, which you can attach to the sides. You can crisscross them, you can make them longer, and this is more of like an over-the-shoulder over the piece, which I actually use a lot more than I've used the handles. I guess it just depends on where I'm going and what I'm doing. All right, so let's dive in. Of course, you know that handbags are always full of stuff because I carry on my life. And the first thing I'm gonna pull out is my agenda planner kind of thing. This is a 2017, it's by the brand Van Du. I picked up this one specifically from Anthropology, maybe in the summertime. So this is a 17 month agenda. So you get half of the year of 2016 and then you get a full year of 2017. And I love that idea because I was already just buying the agenda halfway throughout the year. So I felt like it was just perfect. They have these cute little sayings every month, like don't look back for January and tabs are here for the month. So I love my agenda. It's very, I don't know, I just love it. I put everything in there. Oh, so I picked up two, recently I picked up two mascaras. This one is the Miss Manga Rock. I've never tried this one. I've tried the original and I really love that one. And then this is a newer one. This is the Butterfly Sculpt Voluminous by L'Oreal. And I wanted to try that one too. It must have been on sale. I just have my wallet here, which I'm in the market for a new one. So once I get a new one, I'll show you that one too. This is my makeup bag that I keep in my bag. It is by Prada. I've had this for a very long time. It, it's, it holds up really well because of the nylon. So you can literally just put it in the sink, wash it, put it in the washing machine, or maybe not put it in the washing machine. I would just say hand wash it, soap and water, and you're good to go. This is a new perfume by Victoria's Secret called Scandalous, and it smells amazing. I like very soft, maybe floral scents. Yeah, this smells very sweet, but very light and just more of like an everyday perfume, so I keep it in there. I have, I've been really obsessed with ColourPop liquid lipsticks lately. No thanks to my friend at work. We literally buy like every color that comes out because they're so affordable and then we kind of like try them out and swap with each other. The one I'm actually wearing right now is called Beeper and I love this color. I feel like it's a very like rich brown pink nude color and I think it goes with everything. I love how long the liquid lipsticks, especially the matte formula, lasts throughout the day. Okay, so I have a nail file, which is always good to keep. I have these little, uh, what are these called? Um, 
floss pick kind of things. I think they come in handy when you're out and you eat something with like kale or something and it usually always gets stuck in your teeth and, and nobody really wants to tell you that it's stuck in your teeth. So you have something to get it out with. My favorite lip balm are the EOS or one of my favorite. This one is in tangerine and it smells really good. I always keep that with me. Also because the liquid lipstick sometimes they become really dry and it's really great to just go over it with a lip balm. I have a MAC lipstick in here. This one is in Cream Sheen Midsummer Night. This could have been a limited edition. I think it's really pretty. It's a nude color, a very light nude. I like wearing that one too. And I have a pen. I have a mint. I have a lip pencil. And that's about it. So I keep in a little travel makeup bag. Again, and also I will leave the links um, down below if you're interested in checking out all, any of the things that I have. I have a nail polish in here. This one I picked up recently at Dwayne Reed. This is by Essie. It is a dual chrome like black color, which is stunning. The color is Hot Hot Tub. It is so beautiful. It comes in the bottle. You see a lot of the colors in the dual chrome, but on your nails, it's a little bit, it's definitely darker and you see the glitter in different lighting, I guess. So I have this because I need to touch up. Sometimes I touch up my nails at work. I have my keys, Louis Vuitton key thing, and my keys attached and I keep my change in here because my wallet right now doesn't have change keys. I am interested in purchasing the Louis Vuitton Emily wallet, so let me guys, if anybody has that wallet, let me know if you love it and what you think about it. Oh, I have index cards, so I'm not sure if you guys know or not, but one of my New Year's resolutions slash goals that I wrote on my blog, so I'll also leave the blog post down below for you guys to check out, was to learn Spanish. So I really love travel, as you guys know, and I decided that I want to learn a second language. I've decided to start with Spanish. I felt like maybe that was just a, like an easier way to get into learning a new language. And then I decided that once I learned Spanish, that I would take a trip to Spain and try out my new language, you know, ordering food, ordering, um, buying clothes, who knows? Have a conversation with someone. I think that would just be so amazing. So that's one of my big goals for 2017, hence index cards. So index cards, since I started Spanish classes and lessons, I go out every other Thursday. I decided that I'm going to write down the words that I want to learn for the week and I can keep them in my bag and kind of look through them. Okay, we're almost we're almost done. <clears throat> I have a hair clip and a little scrunchie attached. Can I fill this? And a broken candy cane and an intact book. Oh, nope, this one's broken too. I'm really into minty candies, so these will always be on the bottom of my bag. So that's pretty much it. Let me show you inside. So inside you have this really nice canvas. Um, this is just the coach logo with a zip, a zipper pocket here. Um, and this one, we have um, this little pocket, can you see that? With this little clamp thing, it's very like 1920s in my opinion, but I also think that it gives this bag such charm. So there you go, it's everything that was in my bag. Thanks so much for watching my video and checking out my handbag. Also, leave some video ideas which you would like to see next on my channel. If you want to see a handbag review or handbag collection, anything like that, I would love to get those done for you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.